Hello all. In this video, we are going to add a trainer model for the existing project. And we also are going to add trainer repository and then change the views uh, accordingly uh, by adding a trainer when we add a dog. And in order to finish off this video, you need to finish at least a Spring Boot 12 video. Okay. Let's go to the demo. We need to add our trainer model. Okay. So under the models, we already have dog. So now let's go ahead and add trainer. Trainer. And let's say trainer have three private instance variables. Which is trainer ID. Trainer name. and trainer address. Okay. Go ahead and add the setters and getters as well as two string for all these attributes. and two string as well. Okay, so since this is model, what annotation that we have to write here? Entity. Import the entity package. And this one is our ID. Okay, so basically the primary key uh, that's going to be in our database. Okay, so entity and ID. So these are the two annotations, which is a simple model that we have created. Okay, so since we are going to store the trainer details in your database, so make sure you create a trainer repository as well under the repository package. Trainer repository and extended interfaces are crud interface right okay if you don't get you can type here you will be able to get the, the crud repository finish so now you see public interface trainer repository extends repository so where t is of type trainer and id is the primary key right so what's the type of the primary key integer import that one okay so our um, trainer repository interface is also done okay so now I just saved it and we'll see um, before we even do anything, let me drop all the tables what I have. I have dog here right now. I'm going to drop the dog table. So which would be able to remove everything. Let me relaunch the application. Okay, so let's see whether we have our dog and trainer classes, okay? So select rows, we have ID, breed and name. In the trainer we have trainer ID, trainer address, trainer name. You see underscore here because of the camel case that we have applied here. So that's why I changed the 
I added trainer here. I didn't add dog earlier, but here I added trainer. Okay, so in the database, you could see that it has been changed with underscore. So now what we need to do is for every dog that we are going to enter, we need a trainer as well. So that means in our dog class, we need to include our trainer. Private trainer of trainer. Okay, so trainer is in the same package. You would be able to get it. I would remove everything and regenerate one more time rather than deleting one by one. Uh, source, generate getter setters, auto generate to string as well. trainer and all. Okay. So here, what I would like to do is for the trainer, I would like to mention it as many to one relationship. Okay. So many to one relationship. That means for a given trainer, there could be any number of dogs. Okay. So many to one relationship. Now I'm going to save and I think it will automatically relaunch when you save the classes or interfaces here. And uh, let's see the refresh all first in the database. We have trainer. And now we get trainer ID as an attribute in our doc class, which is what we have done. Okay. So we created a trainer attribute here. So that means whenever we try to add a dog, dog ID, dog breed, dog name, we will add or assign a trainer for that particular dog as well. Okay. So this is what we have done. We just created the uh, trainer repository and trainer object. Um, yeah, trainer uh, model. Okay. So we are not going to create a trainer controller because uh, we are not doing anything separately for the trainer. Uh, I'm doing whatever uh, that I'm going to do, which everything would be in my uh, doc controller.java. Okay. So before we do that, here I need to add trainer, right? So for trainer, what are the attributes that I have? For trainer, I have all these attributes, right? So trainer ID, trainer name, trainer address. So that means in your HTML page, you need to enter those details, okay? So right now in our local host, we don't have a button that adds a trainer. We can add a dog, we can view a dog, we can edit and delete dog, but we don't have something that we have to add that one. So for that, what we need to do is, I'm going to provide these views under the description link in my GitHub repository. So I'm going to replace all the files here. under the templates, okay? I copied all those files and pasted it here. I could say overwrite all. So now I, my previous files has been changed and the new files has been added. And in these new files, add trainer is a new one, okay? So um, relaunch your project one more time. And see how your home screen would look like. I mean dog home so dog home right localhost dot dog home at least we could see add new trainer obviously we'll get a white label error because we didn't write any code for that okay so now what we need to do is we need to write a code for this and then add trainer and then make sure you, it adds to the database and all that stuff, okay? So we will see that in our uh, next video, okay? So thank you for watching.